What's up guys, Dylan here, and today I got a pretty cool little amphibian for you. Well, maybe he's not that little, but uh, let's take a look at him. You bam. Stay. This, guys, is the American Bullfrog. Now, the American Bullfrog is a very neat, big guy. Um, they Their color range is from dark green to grass green, you know, light green, kind of a camo like this guy is. Um, and just an all-around is bold, mid-color, just green. They're all green, and, and sometimes they'll have green on the undersides of their mouths and uh, mix them with a bunch of squiggly lines all over the place. Actually, this guy, I'll show you his... Uh, Oh, he wants to just skyrocket. Uh, he's got all different colors. I mean, on the underside of him, he's got kind of some squiggly lines. On the top, he's got uh, lines just all over the place. Um, this guy is about, um, he's about seven inches, with, uh, not including his legs. With his legs, he's about um, 13 and a half inches. So, uh, I mean, he is a, a pretty a pretty good size frog, honestly. Um, and try to keep them down here. Um, their eyes go in, which is really cool. When they when they feel threatened, they'll just put their heads down, jump in the water, and swim off. Or they'll just put their heads down and hope you can't see them. Just as you can see with this guy, he just blink, <laughs> blink. But uh, anyway, so uh, their diet their diet consists of a lot of different things. It's crazy. Um, the different types of fish, other frogs, some small turtles, um, snakes, small snakes, maybe mid sized snakes, depending on what kind of snake it is. Uh, worms, little crustaceans, you know, like uh, uh, we've got little snails and um, crayfish, you know, crawdads, and uh, algae. Um, they like their salads just like turtles do. Usually at more of an, a younger age, they'll uh, eat algae and stuff like that, you know, maybe before metamorphosis into uh, into a bullfrog, like a tadpole. Um, and then, and then um, sometimes there have been reports of them actually finding bats and small birds that have fallen, and, and mice, um, and so, like, African bullfrogs, they'll eat, like, birds and mice and stuff, it's really crazy, they get, they get about as big as this little, this little, this piece of, uh, cloth that I have them on, or, um, roll of paper, or whatever, but, um, yeah, they get, they get pretty big, but, um, anyway, so, their habitat is gonna consist of Basically, ponds, creeks, rivers, anywhere that it's a uh, more, if it's going to be in a creek or a river, it's going to be more of a calmer area so that they don't get washed downstream as soon as they jump into the water. But then again, at the same time, they're so big that all they got to do is just attach to the bottom and swim right back up into the side again. But uh, these guys, um, on the sides of creeks and stuff, if you have a, a larger bank that drops down really far and you have that whole... Um, dirt area. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it's like, uh, there'll be a creek and there'll be like a, a dirt hill or dirt wall and then there'll be like the grass bank. Um, little, uh, little, um, swallows and different types of birds will make the nest in those. Well, at the same time, turtles will bury their eggs in there. Uh, turtle, or, uh, bullfrogs will make, uh, deep pits and, and burrows in those too. And uh, I've, I've stuck my hand in there and pulled frogs out before. Now, at the same time, that may not be the smartest idea because, uh, turtles also live in there, and you don't want to get your fingers bit off, so. Um, but yeah, they live up in the sides of banks and, and stuff like that. Some frogs will live in cra uh, crayfish holes and um, just things of that nature. So, uh, they're really cool. Um, they definitely are the king of the pond. You hear them sometimes in the morning or more towards the evening. You'll hear, bro, bro, bro. That's these guys just croaking and croaking. And, um, they're bigger than pretty much any other frog, at least around here, that uh, that lives in water. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, they've got these huge, huge webbed feet, and I'll try to, I'll try to give you a, a good idea on what they look like here, if I can turn this guy around without him freaking out. He's like, I'm getting ready to jump, man. But, uh, but that's, that's, that's a, that's a pretty good size webbed foot that he's got there. I don't want to hurt him or anything, but, uh, but yeah, and their legs are just so big and thick. They've got, they've got monster monster legs and uh of course you know for swimming and jumping and, and stuff like that but at the same time people will eat these guys too i mean i've actually had frog legs before um like once just to try it and uh i mean people will eat them you know people will gig these guys and eat them or they'll use them as as fish bait too just because um there's just so much in this little frog or big frog that they can use but um 
I like to keep them around the yard just to croak and, and look at them. I mean, they're just, they're beautiful creatures, honestly. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they've got that eyelid that goes over their eyeball, um, that, uh, they can see underwater and, and keep stuff out of their eyes and stuff, which is pretty cool. That's why when I go like that, that eyelid immediately goes over the eye and, uh, you can kind of see it there, but, um, so that they don't damage their eye, kind of like what camels have. Um, so sand doesn't get in their eye. They have like an extra eyelid. These guys have one eyelid, but camel has an extra eyelid that keeps it kind of the same kind of way that these guys have. But um, their tongue too. I mean, their tongue is a huge. You think, oh, well, kind of in cartoon stuff, frogs go and and uh, and pull their prey in. And more realistically, it's more like they jump towards their prey, and their tongue comes out a little bit, and it's just so sticky, it just right into their mouth. And uh, seeing these guys eat is pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about the uh, American Bullfrog. I mean, they just get so big, and, uh, they're just so beautiful, and you can find them pretty much anywhere that you can find water, but, uh, but yeah, they're just, they're something else, but, uh, Lithobates Caddis Bienis, the American Bullfrog. All right, we'll see you later. All right.